report on my computer. There we go. Got it. They've used up their cloud storage. She needs to clear that up. Okay, guys. Um, it's not super exciting, um, but why would it here going into July? Um, what I do love is that we're going to see a year over year number in just a few weeks because I don't know if you guys recall, but I started tracking yep. August 1st last year. So I love looking at this number. August of last year, we had 1,904 listings and we're at 1,629. Um, that has not really, I mean, look how low it was in March um, when that's really supposed to be like one of the biggest times. And we were peaking here at Christmas. How weird is that? That's usually just like nothing I'm seeing is anything that we, that I've seen before. So it's just going to be, um, I'm going to be curious to see when we start tracking and being able to compare year before year. So I'll probably change this spreadsheet a little bit and create like a, a year over year comparable so that we can start seeing that versus um, an average, right? What we want to see is what was happening this time last year. Maybe what we want to see is what was happening this time last month. Um, mm -hmm. So we can see that. So I'll think about that. If you guys have any suggestions on how you would like to see some of these comparables, we'll look at that. But here we are just a smidge down of total active listings down to 16 29 um, new listings down, not surprising there. We've been seeing the decrease um, from middle of June, um, even here, look at that 211 in May, but I think that was also had to do with the Memorial weekend. So that's, I think maybe too, I'll highlight whenever there's a holiday weekend, that's kind of interesting to note as well. Um, 303 total pending. So we're gobbling up the ones that are coming on, but I don't know about you guys. I mean, I have so many searches going on in the MLS, which, oh my God, I hate their new interface. Anybody else? Like it's, I um, like it to be oh honest. My God. I love it. The app, like logging in on my phone. It's like so many clicks just to get to what I want. It makes me crazy. So if you're creating a, a dashboard, show me what you're doing that you like about it when we meet next, because I can't stand it. I just, you mean like on the desktop or the app? Either. The app, the app I just do as is. I haven't had to log in or anything. I just click on it and it takes me where I need to go. The the desktop, I love like how I can now see, like I don't have to click in anything of every, all the activity that's going on my list. I love that. Which map app are you using? Yeah. Is it the ma excuse me, matrix? No, no, it's the MLS touch. Oh, okay. Yeah, MLS touch is awesome. I think I deleted it because it was going to my nerves. Okay, I will try that today and I'll report. <laughs> <laughs> okay, total closings. Look at that. We're up. Um, again, like we said, gobbling. Um, but what I was going to say is I have so many searches in the MLS for clients, for buyers right now. And I can't tell you, Ali and I've been talking about this since the middle of May. I am seeing back on market, back on market, back on market and um, counseling, you know, my sellers to just be aware, even though they might get multiple offers, they get this horde of people. I'm not seeing it as frantic as it was before. Buyers have so much fatigue. They are over this overbidding nonsense. And um, what we're seeing is either stuff is back on market due to um, appraisal. I've had two appraisals not go through this in the last 60 days. Um, and also sellers being unwilling to negotiate repairs. And so um, Typically, the first offer that you get that you take is your best offer. Going back on the market just creates a stigma unless you're really good um, listing agent and being able to market any inspection reports or whatever that you might have gotten from the first buyer to do some repairs or whatever. Uh, one of my listings did that. So we're going back on the market here in like a week. So um, she did a bunch of repairs to fix that. She just wasn't willing to take some rando $30,000 price reduction. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, total closings there. Average days on market, um, 33. So we're still hovering here. We've been in the thirties now for a while. I wanted to look at this total. Let me see if it goes back to my original sale number. There we go. Hold on one second. That's what I want to look. 
at. Oh, I always like to look at this because the um, the uh, the number here was up quite a bit. The average price, 348433 Look at these beasties that sold. 2.4 in Shadyside, 1.3 in Shadyside. Look at all those million dollar houses in, in Allegheny County that closed in the last week. So that's why we see this sales price, or I'm sorry, average price, you know, crank up um, right there. If we were to do an, an average price in all of West Penn, and get rid of all these, um, cause I just do Allegheny. I changed that to single family homes in all of West Penn. It goes down to 312 and it mm -hmm. averages a three bedroom, two bath with a 98% sales price to list price ratio. So it's not too, too off. And I think it's because we had so many million dollar homes sell last week. Um, 207 price reductions. Um, we're down there. Um, so the stuff that's getting listed too high, you know, we're definitely going to be seeing reductions. 98.78 sales price to list price ratio. And um, we're definitely down from the over over we're seeing there. But again, reminder, this could be a price reduction due to inspections. It could also be a price reduction due to not appraising. Number of expired 63, same as last week. We do have four more individuals in the MLS. Um, I did notice a couple of new brokers that joined us um, from the alerts that we're getting and uh, same uh, interest rate that we had last week that I'm seeing. Um, does anybody have any other insights or interest in what y'all are seeing? No, appreciate this, Jennifer. Okay. Hey, yeah. after we're done, um, Ken, text me. I'm going to be yes. back on Tuesday. Cool. I'm in the office on Thursday for a closing at 1030. And okay. then afterwards I'm meeting with uh, Lydia. Cool. So cool. let me know if you want to meet on Thursday. Yes. I can be there. So are you working the desk by any chance? I got to check. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, just let me know. I'm what not sure how long my I'm no, doing you're good. a really you're good. long meeting with Lydia. Yes, yes. So um, yeah, just text me and let me know what oh, you're. I, I need, I need to find some time with you to figure out how to use MLS to look for properties for buyers. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. So I'll let you All know. Right. Uh, yep. But other than that, have a nice fourth and try the fireworks. Thanks, have, have, you too. See you guys. Thanks you everybody. Too. Have a good Thank day. You. Bye. Bye-bye.